Sometimes there is a known threat of violence. Sometimes it's a person spiraling downhill with mental problems. Gun control advocates say the red flag law is needed to make sure those people don't have their guns. We can and must do more to prevent firearms-related deaths. In Maine, we have a strong tradition of responsible gun ownership. I respect that. This bill is not about the large majority of responsible gun owners. It's about individuals in crisis. Lawmakers joined two gun control groups to announce the red flag bill. It would allow family members or police to ask for a court hearing for someone considered at extreme risk for hurting themselves or others. And the court could order police to get a search warrant and temporarily take the person's guns away. The idea endorsed by doctors and by police. We need help. I mean, there's a mental health crisis in this country, you know, in this state. We have a number of state laws where they can already be arrested. David Trahan of the Sportsman's Alliance of Maine helped negotiate the previous red flag bill, but says this one goes too far. Well, if you dismiss the Constitution and you allow police officers to arrest people randomly, you're probably going to reduce crime. But we've got that darn Bill of Rights and that Constitution that protects our individual rights. But supporters argue the new bill is reasonable and that the need is real. Paula Reed knows it firsthand. Her father was a lawyer in Rockland, shot by a client with mental problems in 1981. He died 10 years later. Paula says that memory makes her support Red Flag now. This one, um, because, you know, the person who shot my dad has significant mental health issues and perhaps something like this law could have saved his life. As with every other gun bill, this one seems likely to trigger another fierce debate. In Augusta, Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine.